Yeah, well, that's the... I think um, the idea of sin and sinfulness of the Christianity is probably common in Muslim or any other religion who has only one single God, you know. But in Japan, as a, we, it is said all the time, there are thousands of gods here and uh, in, the, in the mountain and in the river and sea and so on. Just a kind of a little pantheistic uh, idea, you know. And uh, so it is not possible for Japanese people to keep the, uh, the idea of the sin to maintain in, in, in to, to that idea. So, I mean, uh, so the time by the pa time passing, you know, everything was uh, you know flow flow away, and one also flow. once you dead, and then this is always a kind of the, the became holy. Mm. So all the dead is always uh, thought as holy. So um, that is completely different. So I don't believe in that way, but uh, uh, I, from my personal opinion, is this way or this attitude to the, the sinfulness um, uh, makes a, a lot of political problems with the Korea, for example. You know, the, 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 what, what we did, uh, the, in, 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 what at uh, that time, it, what was done to the others and you know, other, other countries or whatever, they might have been very sinful, but then once we can really remorse and repent, then uh, those uh, problems, well, can be solved. Mm. But in Japanese, politician says all the time that's as if we f forget everything. So that is completely different from the Germany, for example. Mm. You know, mm. They had Hitler, they had Nazism mm. and the mm. terrible things, but really they still, I think they are still doing, but still, yeah, they had done the well, real repentance, I think. Mm. So mm. The, the Japanese cannot do that. That's really, I find really shame. Mm. So that's that's a completely different idea of the of the, of the sin and also of the uh, of the actually the different idea of the life. So. And that that brings me from from sin and shame. I go to pain because mm. of being rather dark here. And and what I want to talk about is really the not the cantatas but the passions mm. of Saint John and of Matthew that I mm. know that you have been dealing with. Uh, first of all, is there any one of those two that you prefer? Which one do you uh, like? With passion. Oh, uh, that is very difficult, of course, of mm -hmm. uh, uh, Well, the aria is with the more, more beautiful and the St. John is more dramatic. And I think it's uh, very important and interesting to have both of them. And they, so to compare each other, that's mm -hmm. a completely different idea. And St. Mm -hmm. John is much more, you know, uh, the, about the God's doctrine and the theological uh, the um, confidence and the the the, the all the text says uh, what text says in the Saint John for example is that there is nothing between God and us and this is never to uh, compensate each other mm. just just apart from the Jesus Christ of the cross you know mm. that's the only solution in between. But the Saint Matthew Passion is much more about uh, the, your own uh, training yourself and uh, um, uh, much more about the edification, you know, mm. from the, so to, the, that was probably according to the Lutheran idea at that time, uh, but, uh, you know, that's as if the, uh, you are following Jesus Christ to imitate the, the Jesus Christ and uh, what the and to try to get uh, experience what Jesus Christ really uh, had in, in painful works experience and so on. Mm -hmm. So this is the imitatio Christi. That's kind of mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, how do you call it? This um, uh, this a little uh, what was the English term? This in any case, that is the, the kind of tendency in in one of the in part of the literature, but the this uh, that much more about edification. But St. John is no chance for <laughs> any, any you, you know, this, uh, the, for us it, there's no, almost no hope uh, to, to improve out by ourselves, uh, apart from, 
apart from the Jesus Christ being in the, the mm. belief in, in mm. the Jesus Christ. So you Christ. don't prefer any? No. So yeah, that's what we, we need mm. both of them. Yeah, really. okay. Yes, yes. But uh, if we go back to St. John, uh, and, and Bach obviously paints pain very well mm. in music. He mm. paints tears, mm. he paints yes, pain, yes. and especially the opening of St. John. Mm. Uh, and sometimes when you sing, you experience that. Uh, do you feel as a conductor that you do that too? That you experience not only the keeping everything together and leading everything, but do you actually experience the pain of the music? Yeah, certainly. Yes, yes, yes. that is a very important experience for me. And uh, For example, in, you, you mentioned St. John Passion, uh, for example, the very opening choir is a the quite long introduction of the instruments and then this comes at the, the moment where the, the choir is shouting at yes. <laughs> and so of course you need in tune and in rhythm and so on <laughs> technical aspect but you know but, but what really we need is actually to cry out help Shu, yeah, this uh, shu is in, in Japanese but help it is a really important word and the and that is the music itself is so simple for the choir, you know, just one word, help, and then that's, we need a lot of the confidence in, uh, in, in crying that, and uh, so without confidence, uh, the, it is not possible to, mm. to make an inspiration. And then comes the next, uh, the pain that you say that you also experience, does it manifest in your body? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this, yeah. So exactly. That's uh, the all what's doing, what we are doing, or saying, or singing, whatever, must be integrated together with your body and your whole soul. Your yeah, soul is abiding in our body, actually. So for the moment, so that's why we must integrate everything what we have mm -hmm. into this uh, declaration or the manifest. And, so this, and then that becomes a musical ex mm -hmm. expression. Does it stay with you? Does it linger with you? Like a bodily mm, memory, mm. the, the so, pain yes, of the music? Yes, yes, yes. This is a really important feeling. So that's the we, that's, that feeling is always in our body. And uh, um, mm, yes, uh, so that's why the, you know, singing and playing the instruments, whatever make a music is a really, um, kind of body language and the, uh, we need to do everything together with our uh, spirit, our body together. Of course that's together with our technical aspects of how to use the instrument and so mm -hmm. on, but, but that's, uh, everything must be uh, integrated. Mm -hmm. can, can you describe in how it uh, uh, goes on, how it manifests itself in your body, like well, you know, I think being the, not able to sleep or uh, having ache or, or the, the do pain you? feeling. The, well, you know, that's uh, not really painful experience, instead of that is a kind of, um, uh, yeah, how, how you can describe, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, you know, after the performance of the Passion or Cantata or whatever, you know, that's always lingering around my, my head and my ears all the time. And then, the, in a way, the body might be a little more exhausted in the, in the actual uh, energy spending and so on. But the darkness makes make us, again, very happy and some kind of feeling of the achievement, you know, that's a once, once done, that performance is done, and that, that music is still there, and we can feel, uh, we can keep feeling this, uh, the, this and that moment, and that this harmony, this melody, and so on, those things is still around my ears, that's really, um, it's a wonderful feeling, actually, mm. yes, it's not, not really, on, not only the painful, but, uh, you know, kind of this, this, this Yes, of this course, the, the pain can be therapeutic yeah, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly, yes. yes. Uh, uh, catharsis. Mm, catharsis, yeah. yeah, kind of, yeah. So, so the uh, pain ha doesn't have to be painful. No, 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 no. And uh, once you could really, in good way, integrate it during your performance, you know, and that is not only the tired 
Yes, after that. The interrogators were really oh, something just now. And then this kind of, you know, kind of relaxation and the, you don't have to be nervous anymore and you can mm. really breathe deeply and so on. It's a really mm. wonderful feeling. Yeah. But then sometimes, you now Stefan has to tell me if mm. I'm going on for too long. <laughs> One minute, okay. Um, I find that the the mind sort of lets go, let go of, mm. of the experience, but it lingers in your body. At least that's not the case for me with heart beating or mm. sleeplessness mm. or things like mm. that. Uh, or or I suppose as a conductor, you you work so yeah. so very much with your body that mm. kind of excitement, you know, just yeah. just the linger all the time around my body. Mm. So. Um, Right after the, after the performance, you know, I I almost never tired. It's just completely um, how do you call it? uplifted and mm. the exalted and kind of. And then um, and then comes a little take time to calm down, of course. You know. But that is a after that the this experience of the performance uh, the becomes a more and more deeper uh, embedded in you remembrance and also your body structure and so on. So this is really wonderful. And then we can live with this kind of experience and need. And, so mm. and then That's perhaps an emptiness comes. Emptiness comes of this sometimes, yeah, but the, you know, just you have a performance one by one and you have music always in front of you. And then just, I, I don't feel empty any, any, yeah, any time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect.